What's up everybody? Welcome to the Head First Fishing Channel. We're out here on Tampa Bay today with Captain Andrew Crabtree of Crabtree Fishing Charters. I'm your host, Captain Joseph Raines of Head First Fishing Adventures. We're gonna run out and do a little fishing. I'm excited, I've been, I've been kind of laying low lately, taking it easy, uh, but it's a really nice day today, so the conditions are looking favorable. So let's get them, let's do it. That was as good as it got right back there. Um, it's always had a lot of ziplocks on the boat, so if I don't have like a you know a little bottle or something like that, I just use a ziploc. Get handfuls of this dry chum, and this is what I use to draw in the bait. Get this at any feed store. I got a 50 pound sack in the boat, so I never run out. Never is a strong word. I have never run out of chunk, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Just want to get a little water in here, make it about the consistency of a hamburger patty. Mix that up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start chumming and Mr. Crabtree is going to look up the cast net. A little bit of patience, just let the chum do the work, they'll come to you. There's a lot of bait in here. That's the uh, the only downfall of throwing a cast net on the flats. You get a lot of grass in your net. Yeah. You got a lot of bait, but we got a lot of salad too. Exactly. It's all right. No pain, no gain. Nice Florida snook there. How about that? Beautiful. Oh, give it a little breath of air and we'll measure it. 24 and a half. A little shorter than I thought, but hey, you know what? That's a beauty. Let's go ahead and let him go. You gotta love the circle hook. It just goes right in the corner of his mouth. All right, I think this fish is ready to go. See you, baby. There she goes. Oh, 
Oh, we had me oh, right on the mangroves. That was all yours. Like Joe was saying, that's why we use circle hooks right here. You tend to uh, gut hook less fish, which means they'll be hooked right in the throat. So the circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Nice, healthy fish. Pretty Black dark. Bottom, pretty snow. dark. Yeah. Circle hook right out. It's a beauty. Nice little fish. It's a thick one. Look at the meat on that one. There you go. Well, I wear gloves right there. <laughs> Protect my hands. Oh, yeah. Let's get a release on him. Unless you want to put him on the tape. He's probably about the same size. Probably about 24, 25 inches. Nice um, mid sized snook, better than average. Go ahead and release it. Clamp down. It'll kind of hold your thumb while they kind of revive. So whenever it's ready to go, it's just going to let go. He just bit me there pretty good. Well, that's okay. Beautiful fish. There she goes. it around and it just pops right out just like that let's get a couple of still pictures well we've run out of time today we've had a great time fishing there's seen a lot of fish out here in the whites uh, some of my favorite whites are empty tonight so I had to go searching around to find some other ones but Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button so you're always knowing when we're putting videos up. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you later.